Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome to my video on the qualified athletes for the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Derek earned a lifetime qualification by winning the 2023 Mr. Olympia. He hasn't competed this season but in the past two years only Hadi Chupan has beaten him at the 2022 Olympia. Derek, a former 212 Olympia champ, made history by becoming the first athlete to win in two divisions. In the Open, he's placed second in 2022 and first in 2023. Hadi secured a lifetime qualification after winning the 2022 Mr. Olympia and finishing runner-up in 2023. He's been dominant this season, winning both the Arnold Classic Ohio and UK, defeating top athletes like Rafael Brandao and Samson Dauda. Since moving to the Open in 2019, Hadi has been a top contender every year. Samson qualified by placing third at the 2023 Mr. Olympia and has been the most active competitor this season with four shows under his belt. He won the Romania and Prague Pro while finishing second behind Hadi Chupan at both Arnold Classics. After a 6th place finish in 2022 and 3rd in 2023, Samson looks to climb even higher in 2024. Theo Laguerrier earned his spot by winning the Japan Pro in November 2023, his only show this season. He didn't face any other qualified athletes at that event. This will be his third consecutive Olympia appearance, improving his standings from 16th in 2022 to 13th in 2023. Will Theo rise higher in 2024? Rafael Brandao secured his qualification by winning the Arnold Classic South America and competed at the Arnold Classic Ohio, finishing third behind Hadi and Samson. In Brazil, he bested Tonio Burton and has also defeated Jonathan De La Rosa and Akim Williams this season. His previous Olympia appearance was in 2022, where he finished 10th. Martin Fitzwater is making his Olympia debut in 2024 after qualifying by winning the Detroit Pro. He also took second place at the New York Pro, narrowly losing to Nick Walker and outplacing Tonio Burton. His strong showing in New York makes him a wild card for this year's competition. Nick Walker earned his qualification by winning the New York Pro, where he defeated Martin Fitzwater and Tonio Burton. After missing the 2023 Olympia due to a hamstring injury, Nick is back and remains one of the favorites to win. His previous Olympia finishes include 5th in 2021 and 3rd in 2022. Despite some skepticism following his New York performance, he's a strong contender. Tonio Burton punched his ticket to the Olympia by winning the Cali Pro. This season he faced tough competition and lost to Rafael Brandao, Nick Walker and Martin Fitzwater. A former 212 competitor, Tonio's best Olympia result since moving to the Open division was 8th in 2023. In the meantime, Tonio announced he won't be doing the Olympia this year. Ekim Williams qualified by winning the Toronto Pro, where John Jewett finished third. Akim also competed in both Arnold Classic Ohio and UK events, finishing sixth in Ohio and third in the UK behind Hardy and Samson. He directly defeated Jonathan De La Rosa this season. His best Olympia placing was sixth in 2020. Brandon Curry, the 2019 Mr. Olympia, holds a lifetime qualification. He finished fourth at the 2023 Olympia and didn't compete in any shows this season. A veteran of the sport, Brandon has consistently placed in the top four since his victory in 2019, with second place finishes in 2020 and 2021. Over 72% of you watching my videos in the past three months are not subscribed. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing as I aim for that 30k subs milestone. Your support means a lot. Thank you. William Bonac qualified by winning the Empro Classic in Spain, defeating Baruz Tabani. Baruz later got his revenge at the Dubai Pro. William also lost to Nathan Deasha this season. 
A seasoned competitor, Williams' Olympia resume includes a second-place finish in 2019 and several top three and top four placements. His last Olympia appearance was in 2022, where he placed ninth. Berus Tabani qualified by winning two shows, the Flex Weekend Pro in Italy and the Dubai Pro. He defeated Nathan De Asha and William Bonac but lost to Samson Dauda at the Romania Pro. Due to visa issues, it remains to be seen if Baruz can make it to the Olympia stage this year. Nathan De Asha secured his Olympia spot by winning Mr. Big Evolution in Portugal, where he defeated William Bonac. However, he later lost to Samson in Romania and Prague and Baruz in Bucharest. Due to pass visa denials, Nathan might face difficulties competing in the US for this year's Olympia. John earned his qualification by winning the Vancouver Pro. He also competed in the Toronto Pro, finishing third behind A. Kim Williams, a former 212 competitor. This will be John's Olympia debut in the Open division. Mohamed qualified by winning the Chicago Pro. He also placed fifth at the Romania Pro where he faced athletes like Samson, Baruz and Nathan and lost to Jonathan De La Rosa in Tampa. This will be his first Olympia appearance. Jonathan De La Rosa punched his ticket to the Olympia by winning the Tampa Pro. This season he faced and lost to qualified athletes like Hadi, Samson, Rafael and Akim. A veteran of the sport, Jonathan's best Olympia finish was 12th in 2019. Andrew earned his spot by winning the Texas Pro. Though he didn't face any qualified athletes at that show, he's a favorite for the Olympia title after finishing 5th at the 2023 Olympia. Andrew also placed in the top 3 at the 2023 Arnold Classic, solidifying his status as a top bodybuilder. Hunter qualified by winning the Italy Pro. He finished 6th at the 2023 Olympia and his best placing was 4th in 2021. Hunter is considered a wild card. His performance can fluctuate between being in the top callout or outside the top 6 depending on his conditioning. Bruno Santos qualified by winning the Europe Pro in the UK. He defeated Andrea Presti who had beaten him one week earlier at the Italy Pro. This will be Bruno's debut at the Mr. Olympia. Who do you think is taking home the Sandow this year? Drop your predictions in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. I've got a ton of content lined up for you covering everything about the athletes on their journey to the biggest stage in bodybuilding so stay tuned.